Are you having fun in your business? I mean, it should be fun, right? Well, sometimes the fun gets overlooked when you're dealing with the have-tos, the complexities of being your own boss and actually running the show. It's my goal that this, the Fun Business Fun Money Podcast, can help reignite your spark of fun by providing tips, tools, insights, and inspiration so you can enjoy running your business in the simplest, easiest, most fun way possible. I'll be sharing practical tips and ideas that you can implement immediately, along with business and money mindset insights to keep you moving forward no matter what's going on around you. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies, the fun business and money coach and founder of Powered by Personality. Let's play. Hey there, and welcome back to the Fun Business Fun Money podcast. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies. This one is a quick tip episode. Not always quick in terms of time, but easily and easily implement. I want to give you a little mindset tip today about niching and narrowing your focus on the specific, just right people in the right way. And this one actually came to me from a rather random source. And I I think it's a good example of how my brain quickly puts things together in a logical way. I was reading a Guardian article about how the majority of sports performance research and even medical studies and information is based on men and the study of male bodies. Blew my mind! There's a gender gap there that's been overlooked for centuries through this belief that there is one human body in its basic form with some obvious but slight differences. Well, it turns out that those differences are not so slight at all. The recommendations for what kind of exercise, what kind of nutrition, health regimes and even medical treatments that we've all accepted for years they're not all designed for the female body. And as a former crossfitter and competitive swimmer, I know all too well the pressures to do more, to go faster, lift heavier, adjust your technique and make improvements. But that's not always what your body needs. As I've gotten older and I've been dealing with some injuries over time, I've discovered a far more gentle way of exercising my body that still gets great results. Now, as women, there's a clear difference between us and men, right? We have a menstrual cycle. We have different hormones. We have different energy cycles. We have a whole bunch of other things that men don't have, which in turn affects our ability to perform in exactly the same way. We're never going to be the same. Now, you're probably wondering what on earth this has to do with your niche. Well, that same mindset that we need to have about listening to our own bodies and operating in a way that's best suited for us, for you, for me, that also applies to your business. We need to let go of this notion that we can't exclude a certain type of person from working with us. I covered this in more detail back in episode 61, The Truth About Your Niche. Dun, 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 it always sounds so ominous. It's not really. (laughs) Go check that one out after this one. You'll find it linked in the description and in the show notes. As a quick example, though, I'm a business and money coach. I can work with anyone who does any type of business, right? Yes, but no, that really doesn't help my marketing message. And it really doesn't help anyone see how I can help them. But by specializing and telling you that I work with online entrepreneurs, I'm instantly excluding the brick and mortar business owners. Take it a step further and specialize to coaches, web designers, copywriters, and online business managers, and it becomes a whole lot clearer for me and for those people. Everyone else out there? 
Well, they're well taken care of by someone else with a better set of skills to handle what they need. Focus on the people who truly need to feel like they're seen and heard by you. Give them a voice for their needs through your marketing. And those people, they'll self-identify by reaching out to you for help or interacting with you in some way. You become their breath of fresh air. You become an easy no-brainer. How can I work with you? And your business feels like a breath of fresh air for yourself as well. There's no more throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks because you know what sticks. You know what works best for you. Just like the sports performance research and the medical guidance really needs to be more specific to the different genders and all the other factors, you need to be more specific about what you do and who you help. It's time to shift your thinking that you couldn't possibly exclude someone from working with you. You can, and you absolutely should. Otherwise, you're on the fast track to burnout through overgiving, over delivering, and probably undercharging as well while we're at it because you're being a generalist, not a specialist. Specialists can command higher prices. Get loud and clear in your messaging. Tell people who you work with and how you help them. I know it's simple to say, but it's not always simple to do it. So if you'd like my help weeding through all your ideas and all the directions you can take your business, book an Ignite VIP day. We'll spend a total of five hours together. We'll split that over three sessions so nobody feels overwhelmed, including me. You'll end up with a very clear strategy and action plan for specializing your niche. You'll know exactly who you're talking to and where to find them with your clear, concise messaging. It's okay to niche and only serve women. It's okay to only serve men or non-binary people. You can serve online entrepreneurs or small businesses in a very specific geographic area. You get to align yourself with whatever you want. It's just a whole lot easier when you let go of the need to serve everyone. Because as the saying goes, if you're talking to everyone, you're being heard by no one. So that's what I got for you today. Take care. Have fun focusing on your perfect for you clients in your perfect for you niche. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. If you found this episode useful, make sure you hit that follow button on your chosen podcast platform so you get the notifications when each new episode goes live and you don't miss anything. If you know someone who would also get something from it, Don't be shy, share it with them. One of the best things about being a business coach for online entrepreneurs is helping them make sense of their creative ideas and turn them into a simple, clear business system that actually makes money. A client recently described me as a castle building expert. You've got the big vision and some of the building materials already, but you don't quite know how to bring it all together into a solid foundation. Then I come along and I show you the blueprint that makes sense of it all. I love that analogy. And I'd love to show you your personalized blueprint, the one that's just right for you and your clients. But I can't do that until you join Ignite, my business and money coaching program. So head on over to deirdreamies.com forward slash Ignite for all the details. Fill out the application form and let's talk about building your castle in the simplest, easiest way possible. 